my PG and my SR ship, I actually personally witnessed a rise in the number of breast cancer and patients with breast related problems. And I had decided that I would pursue MCH, but I wasn't very sure what branch because I found the entire subject of general surgery very interesting. But while I was reading endocrine, I thought that because I was already interested in breast and I also found endocrine interesting, I thought that maybe I could pursue an entire, like pursue my entire career around breast and endocrine surgeries. After I found speed, I read Sebastian and Bailey, sir, and I would make notes while I was watching videos. It was a very helpful uh, revision. And I'm extremely grateful to Speed, sir. I would not have been able to do it without Speed. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Merlin uh, for scoring rank number one AML in specialty of MCH breast and endocrine surgery in the session of ENESS November 2023. Congratulations to you, doctor. Thank you, sir. Great, doctor. Now, can we know a brief background of where you started from till date? What all you have done? Can you share something to us? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I've done my MBBS from Goa Medical College, batch of 2012, after which I pursued my MS General Surgery from Ames Bhopal, sir, batch of January 2019. And I've done around one year and three months of SR ship in the Department of General Surgery in my institute in Ames Bhopal. Great, doctor. Great to know. You started from Goa and to Ames Bhopal. And, uh, great journey on your general surgery career and to migrate to a superficiality of endocrine surgery what made you to take that decision and why your endocrine surgery is a passion for you Breast so, uh, so honestly through my pg and my sr ship i actually personally witnessed a rise in the number of breast cancer and patients with breast related problems i had decided that i would pursue mch but i wasn't very sure what branch because i found Honestly, I found the entire subject of general surgery very interesting. But while I was reading endocrine, I thought that because I was already interested in breast and I also found endocrine interesting, I thought that maybe I could pursue an entire, like pursue my entire career around breast and endocrine surgery. Sir. Doctor, once you have decided to go ahead with breast and endocrine surgery as your specialty of choice, yes. how did you start your preparation? When did you start? Can you share something on your preparation strategy to achieve rank number one today? Sir, I actually started preparing when I started my SR ship. I joined last year in August. I would read around maybe an hour or so a day. I wouldn't get a lot of time, but I would read an hour or so. I would read Sebastian and Bailey, sir, and I would make notes while I was reading those books. I also added for endocrine and breast, I added from Schwartz. And sir, around, I think, March, I started watching videos, sir. I watched mainly videos by Dr. Adarsh, and I added his uh, notes or to my notes sir. and then I kept revising it so in the last two months was the actual time where I gave in my entire dedication to prepare properly and I read I think I must have revised around four to five times to make sure that I remembered what I already knew and so I think revision was what got me this rank honestly so you you made your notes from reading books and watching yes. videos yes sir uh, so you consolidated it and you revised through your own notes. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Now, when you find the paper of 80 questions, how many questions were you able to attend? Sir, I attempted uh, 75 questions, sir. Okay. I skipped five. So this five questions were skipped in general surgery portion or in endocrine surgery? General surgery, sir. General surgery. Okay. So, uh, I mean, when compared to breast and endocrine speciality of 50 questions and 30 questions of general surgery, which you found which is a little difficult to make it up? Sir, I think there were around 10 to 15 questions from a breast and endocrine that I found a bit difficult. And from general surgery, also around 10, where I wasn't sure about the answer, but I still went on and guessed some of those. For breast and endocrine, I, whatever questions I had doubts, I went ahead and took a very uh, calculated guess. And for general surgery, the ones that I didn't know at all, I just skipped those. Great. So, general surgery, did you go through 28th edition of uh, Bailey because there's a change of edition from 27 to 28th? Yes. Uh, how was your preparation on that? Sir, I read the entire book again, sir. I had actually read 27th throughout my uh, post graduation. So, I read 28th again during my preparation and I already had notes from my MS. So I just kept adding or changing whatever had changed from those notes. Great. Now, 
what is the message that you want to give to the juniors who are aspiring for MCH and breast and endocrine surgery? So I would tell them that read the basic textbooks and the basics first instead of jumping on to higher things because most of the questions are basic. There are very few questions that will be from high-end textbook, from actually specialty textbook. I would suggest that just stick to the basics. Read Bailey, Sebastian Schwartz, and that should be more than enough, sir. So, I mean, compared to rest of the specialties, breast and endocrine surgery, number of seats are very limited. Yes, sir. And was your preparation, primary preparation is for neat SS or any SS? So, my primary preparation was for any SS only, sir. So, did you did you give neat SS exam or you? Yes, yes sir. No, sir. I gave neat SS. Okay. Now, what was your experience in learning with Speed and Speed Medical Institute with the faculties of Speed? So, I found that after having read these textbooks, it was an a, a very helpful. Uh, revision to have others sir revise the entire subject the entire like entire breast and endocrine and actually sir actually covered bailey sebastian and schwartz so it was a good revision for me and it also added on to a lot of points that i had missed while reading and making notes myself and also the fact that sir is very well read so sir's knowledge actually helped me a lot with my paper and with adding adding on things to my notes Yes, he is an excellent uh, faculty yes. and he reads I mean, line by line and yes, make sir. sure that the students should not leave any point yes, that could be asked in exam. Yes, sir. So, really wonderful doctor. Now, time to thank whom all you want to thank that uh, they have helped you in your career to build your career till this stage. I mean, you can use this platform to do so. So, I would like to thank my entire faculty here, sir, at Ames Bhopal, my entire department, my head of department, Professor Pradeep Saxena, so my unit head, Professor Shamlal, sir, my consultant, ma'am, who's very close to me, Dr. Swagata Brahmachari, ma'am, Dr. Meena, ma'am, Dr. Bharti, ma'am, sir, all of them have actually helped me and guided me. They've actually pushed me to study because they knew that I could do it before I knew it myself. Because what I would do is I would focus on working more than reading. So, Towards the last few months, sir, actually, my teachers gave me a push and told me that, you know, you can do it and you want to do it. Why aren't you working harder? So I'm extremely grateful for them. I'm extremely grateful to my family for being very supportive throughout this time and <laughs> putting up with my stress and my anxiety during this preparation. And I'm extremely grateful to Speed, sir. I would not have been able to do it without Speed. You guys have helped me a lot in this journey. I, As hard as I worked, sir, I did not expect this rank. I, my paper went well. My interview was good, but I did not expect to come first. I thought that there might be people who might have done better than me. Doctor, can you tell us something on the interview portion of it? I mean, how so, did you prepare for it? What was in your mind in preparation? How did you handle those uh, interview session? And after that, what was looking at? I mean, can you tell us on those experiences? The interview actually only basic questions were asked, sir. Not uh, a lot of details. Not a lot of complicated things so they just ask basics so if i think whichever candidate is appearing next if their basics are clear so they should be fine with the interview another thing i would say sir honesty when these consultants ask me the cases that i've seen sir i very honestly said that i have not seen a lot of endocrine surgeries here sir so i was very honest about it which actually thought would be i thought would be a minus mark for me because i'm not very exposed to these cases but it turned out it wasn't but i was completely honest i would tell them to be honest and stick to the basics great great doctor and uh, once again going on from now once again we wish you all the best all the success to have a great and wonderful career as a breast and endocrine surgery in the speciality that you wanted and you wanted to do. And and today you have that with the, the topmost rank and the <laughs> countries and nationals topmost rank in your hand. Something to have and something to have with the pride and something to have with a great achievement is always wonderful. And every time God does not give this kind of I mean, moment, I mean, it gives once in a lifetime and one such lifetime achievement we look upon to you as Dr. Merlin as a, such an wonderful person has achieved great. And once again, we wish you all the best and all the success. You have a great and an amazing career in the field that you wanted us, breast and endocrine surgery. Once again, all the best and Thank advanced you. congratulations and best wishes in your career. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.